Hey folks, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on using Photoshop Actions to help speed up your workflow when working with basically anything, but what we'll be focusing on today is, is hand-drawn type. Now you might have seen my last tutorial about isolating type. This, um, this is going to be much the same demonstration, but we'll use Actions to help speed it up. So first of all, let's open something up. Here we go, a bit of type. And we'll quickly give it a crop just to get the crap out of the way. And um, what I do is I actually divide up my actions into two parts because um, halfway through the process, uh, you want to choose the brightness and contrast levels to get it just right. So if you use an action then, it's just going to blast right past that step and you won't be able to you know, get it just right. So let me show you how to make the first action. Um, and this is literally what I do whenever I, I do any hand-drawn type. This is the process I use. So hopefully this helps. Um, what you want to do is pull up the actions window or palette. So go to window actions and you want to make a new one. So we'll call this step one for argument's sake. And it's, it's really worth attaching a keyboard shortcut to these as well. Um, that helps speed things up even more. So we go step one, and in this step, we'll do, again, like I said, much what we did in the isolating type tutorial. So use command shift U. I'll go through it pretty quick. If you want the details, then you can look at my last one. Uh, control shift U to desaturate, and then the only other step for this action is just to hit the brightness and contrast adjustment layer above your image. And then you can actually go back to the adjustment, I mean the actions palette, and press stop. And that's your first adjustment done. So, well, it looks like I've got some more from some other attempted goes at this tutorial when I kept stuffing it up. <laughs> so del I'll delete them and we'll just stick with this step one here. So, what we want to do first is just test this action that we've done and make sure it actually works right. So, hop out of that, don't save, and open up the image again. So, what we should see is if you've attached a keyboard shortcut, by the way, feel free to hit the shortcut and make sure that's working. But in um, in this case, I'm just going to hit play. And we should see it desaturate, yep. And we've got the brightness and contrast layer, so that's worked perfectly. Um, so let's move on to the next step. Um, at this point, and now this is why, I, I just want to point out, this is why I've divided up the actions into two, instead of just using one. <clears throat> because... At this point, we want to be, want to be able to customize the amount of brightness and contrast we're using, so we can get um, the right look we want for our type. So, um, as I said in the last tutorial, hit Use Legacy, and then boost up your contrast and your brightness until you've got the word buck nice and isolated. Now, at this point, because we're not recording an action, I'll just quickly um, crop again. If we, were, uh, if we were in the middle of recording an action, then you wouldn't do this because otherwise um, it'd muck it up for, for future images. Okay, there we go. Nice and cropped. So yeah, get your brightness and contrast. Now, as you can see, as I mentioned in the last one, again, you've, you've got these little remains, a little flecks of um, black here or grey. Uh, just boost up your contrast there to get rid of them. Maybe your brightness as well. Put the contrast down a bit to minimise the roughness. Just get a nice balance. Look, for the sake of this tutorial, that should do just fine. Now, at this point, you've got your brightness and contrast layer and your background layer. So, making sure your brightness and contrast layer is selected, head back to the Actions palette, because now we're going to record Step 2. So, go to New again, and again, give this a, um, a keyboard shortcut that you're going to remember, because um, it'll, uh, trust me, it'll greatly improve and increase your speed. Now, uh, we've got step two, so now we are currently recording. So everything, as, a, as I said before, everything we're doing is being recorded as we speak. So this is the part where we go down to the background layer. So what, what we'll do here is just double, double tap background, convert that to a normal layer, and select layer zero, and go up and select the brightness and contrast layer holding shift, so you've got them both and using Command E, combine them. Now use Command A to select all, Command C to copy, and Command D to deselect. Now using Command Alt Shift N, create a new layer, go down and delete brightness and contrast, 
press Q to enter quick mask mode, Control V to paste, Q to exit quick mask mode, Command Shift U to invert the selection, Whoop. Command Shift I, sorry, Command Shift I to invert the selection, and um, reset your color palette down here using D, and then press X to switch them, so you've got black as the background layer, background color rather, and Command Delete will fill those pixels you've got selected with the black. And use Command D finally to deselect, and you're finished. So now we want to let the actions palette know we're finished. So hit stop, and there's everything you just did, which should be replicable with uh, any photo that you use. So now this is the big test. We want to make sure it's actually worked. So again, get out of it, don't save, open it up again. Now, what we should be able to do is in really no more than two steps, um, we should be able to literally isolate this type, bam, in, in two easy steps. So um, apart from a few little things, you know, like cropping it and adjusting the brightness and contrast, etc. So give it a cheeky crop. Awesome, and then go to step one. And again, if you used your keyboard shortcut, if you recorded a keyboard shortcut, use that. Uh, so go play, then Go up to brighten some contrast here. Tick use legacy, boost up things. Perfect, looks good. And then go to step two, play. And there you go, isolated in two easy steps. Um, that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. If, um, if there's any info you want to know or anything else you want to find out or any other tutorials you want to see, then feel free to hit me up at hello at dvclmn.com. Or just visit me on Instagram. My username's DVCLMN. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. And um, there you go. Have a good day, guys.